Today we are at one of my favorite spots underneath this bridge and we're gonna be searching through all these rocks right here. We're gonna be swinging this net around because today we're gonna to be trying to catch a bunch of stuff to bring back home to try and feed our brand new anglerfish in his tank. At this spot, there is tons of rocks, tons of water flow, and this is a giant ecosystem for many different kinds of fish, ranging from giant tarpon, snook, sharks, all the way down to sergeant majors and thousands and thousands of crabs, mantis shrimp, and even pistol shrimp. There is stuff all over the place here, and we're gonna dive in head first to try to catch some cool stuff for that anglerfish. And today we're gonna do something very specific. Give me a second here. Have fun. Yes! That's what we're gonna do today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have fun. The water's nice and murky because it's low tide or it's uh, outgoing tides, all that gook water from, you know, inside the inlet or inside the canals is coming out. That's a perfect, perfect time to do this because these crabs are all in these rocks here. And I brought this just to swing it around for some baby sergeant majors that I know he would love to eat. Mother load over here. I don't know how many I'm gonna get because they're not very thick. I don't know why in the summertime they're thick like crazy, but we have a good opportunity to get maybe one or two with this net here. I'm gonna try my absolute hardest. You gotta be crazy fast. They're not coming up. They're staying nice and low. They're staying low, guys. Come on. See that, they, dude, the, they are so smart. They know I'm up here and they're going down to the bottom. Come on, Mr. Majors. Where are you? I'm like a freaking blue herring right now. I'm like a blue herring hunting. Forgot my glasses too, that's not good. As soon as I see one, I'm gonna pounce. That was almost it. Let's go! I am the king. I am the king, bro. This is probably the best we're gonna do because there's not many around. Let me get some water in this. They're not as thick as you'd like them to be, but that doesn't mean we can't bring a couple home for our boy. So right here are some little baby, really they're just damsels. These guys are just straight up little damsels here. They're the most common. Anytime you go to any pier or bridge here in Florida, you're gonna see, what is this fish? Oh, we, in, we need to investigate that right now. So you're gonna see these damsels everywhere, but this I've never caught before. I got two of them. This is like a translucent, invisible fish right there. Look at that. His tail is like gel. It's like jelly. It's like a jellyfish fish. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he is a per he is like literally straight translucent. And I caught two of those guys. So let's get them in and I'll show you guys more in detail here. Here's another one. I caught two of these guys. That thing is never before caught. That's why I love coming here because you catch things that you never see before. That is a straight up translucent fish right there. This size, you know who that's perfect for? Our other anglerfish that we actually caught here, Tim, the mini anglerfish. So we're gonna bring that for him. These guys are better for our bigger angler fish and these are you know the classic good old sergeant majors we got three of these little guys and two translucent fish so already we have meals for both angler fish look at that these are the menace to any pier fishing dock any they're just everywhere these are the piranhas of the saltwater sea in south florida so that's for sure you just catch them everywhere if you're using shrimp you're gonna hook a sergeant major so we got two or three of those guys and two really cool translucent fish that i've personally never caught before if you know what they are comment down below because i've never seen it in my life now let's get flipping now this is the fun part this is when i get down and dirty get into the water start moving rocks around the tide is a little higher than i would like so i'm gonna have to be really quick but this is where you can find those weird mantis shrimp, those pistol shrimp, those bigger kind of crabs that we're gonna try to feed our anglerfish. So this is where the action begins. What is this right here? A clam, huh, interesting. Mollusk. mollusk, whatever this is. Look at that, beautiful. Put this thing on a necklace. That's a pink little mollusk or something. Very cool, first find of the day. You know what we do have to check first is this little pocket over here that I always look in and there's literally, I'm 10 for 10 on being, a crab being in there. So I don't know if there's gonna be one today, but there usually always is a molt in here. Nothing today guys, nothing today, but there is, I'll tell you what there is. There are a bunch of these little dudes in there that are just chilling. These guys are always all over the place. You can find thousands of them underneath one rock. So these dudes are just little, I, I don't know, I guess little hermit crabs or little snails. I'm not really 100% sure exactly what they are, but they are alive. They just look like shells, but there's stuff living inside of that. So we're not gonna take any of these guys home because they cannot be food, but still always cool to find these guys. Sometimes you can flip a rock over and you can cover your entire hands in just these. So let's put them back. Let them enjoy their little tide pool over here. Later guys, you're not coming home with me today. Now I'm gonna start super shallow and just flip over rocks. And as we go, we will find something eventually. And always remember whenever you're out having fun, doing all this, whenever, if you see anything that you can remove, you take it out.
I've actually found big ones over here. So that's why I'm looking in the shallows first because I've actually found my biggest crabs. There's a big ass rock in this area. Nope. What the heck is that? I don't know what this is. I thought it was a giant crab claw. And actually the rocks that are kind of buried in the sand, like kind of hard to get out, those are pretty much the best ones because there's usually like pistol shrimp that actually dig underneath the sand and make a little cave for themselves in there. So that's where you want to flip. Oh, the water's cold on my feet. Come on, crabs. Where you at? Whoa, that's a big rock. Nothing. Nope. There's a little anemone thing here. I don't know if you guys can see in the water, but actually underneath this rock right here, which let's bring them into the sun, there's a little piece of coral or an enemy kind of thing on this rock. So it's gonna be hard to see. So in the sun, that's it right there. If you know exactly what kind it is, let me know, but that's like a little an enemy. If I put it in, he starts flowing around. You can see his tentacles coming out the top right there. So it's a little piece of coral, little an enemy in there. Super cool. I found some starfish as well underneath rocks like this. It's hard to see because of the water, but that right there is a little Anemone, wild anemone in the rocks. Super cool, super rare. Little dude, little guy, mini crab right here. And some more of those anemones right here actually on top. So they're actually hanging out in the deep and not the, uh, look, he's on top of the anemones right there. <laughs> those two are little anemones and we got this crab. Look at this little guy. That right there is what we're after, except we're after the big version. But this is a little mini guy, smallest little crab in the entire world, right there, just chilling underneath this rock. And as we get further deep, the bigger ones they're gonna get. So these are small guys hanging around, barely the size of my finger, or way smaller than my finger. And these are the guys we're after. This might be a good one for Tiny Tim, because Tiny Tim is a sargasm frogfish, and he was feeding on shrimp and crabs like this. So this might be perfect for Tiny Tim, and we're taking him back to the crib for sure. We just need a bigger one for our, uh, our new anglerfish is really big, so he needs some bigger kind of crabs. Dang, they're so fast. These anemone type things are all over the place. Another big one right there. Look at it, you can see it curled up. And if you zoom in a lot, you can see each individual tentacle. You can see it's like a literally a ball of jelly. They're everywhere. Big one, bigger one, bigger guy. That's what we needed. Still small, but bigger than the last one. Whoa, crawling all over the watch. So this is the same kind as the last one but maybe double the size, maybe double the size. So once again, another good one for uh, Tiny Tim. We gotta just start finding the bigger ones, but hey, we're going deeper and we found one a little bit bigger. That's the goal, get bigger and bigger. And we need a hog for our big boy anglerfish. We need a hog for him, not these little guys. Tiny Tim will definitely appreciate this though. Now, although this looks harmless and safe, I do also need to really keep in mind about the stonefish here in Florida because there are stonefish in these rocks that look exactly like rocks. One prick, that could do some serious damage. I'm not sure if they're deadly or not, but I know it's, they're either deadly or excruciatingly painful. So that's why you need to really be careful when, with the rocks you're grabbing because stonefish even this big would seriously do some damage. Got him, got him, got him, got a nice one. Ah, he's kidding me. <laughs> Oh, I am the fish guy. You can't hurt me. <laughs> All right, this is good for our new angler. Look at that. Ah, look at this one. Oh, that one's a good one. Oh, that one's a good one. He's getting me good, dude. This crab. Ah, honestly, the angler might not even eat him, really. This guy just might be a tank mate because I'm not sure if 100% they like eating crabs. I'm sure they do, but man, is he pinching me hard. Man, is he getting me good. Stop it, stop it. I can't even show you guys him because he's just, no, fast ass guy. Look at him, going in circles. So once again, once again, this one might be the same kind as the last one. This is just the mama, the mama crab. So this might be the same exact kind of crab, but definitely, definitely bigger for our bigger anchor fish. So that's really good. All right, I don't, think, I don't think I'm gonna keep this guy, but this is the smallest one yet. You can barely see him in that crevice right there. Look at him. This is the smallest crab in the world. Whoa, he's blowing away like a piece of dust. That's how small he is. That is the smallest crab of the day, right? That little dude is <laughs> microscopic, bro. I would honestly like to have a literally like a one gallon tank with a bunch of these guys in it. He's jumping around. Look at that crab. He's in, he's in protect mode. This guy shall stay at his spot and grow old to be a big boy because he's too small. So we're gonna let this guy back on his rock. Get back on there, buddy. You're going home. We want the big boys. Holy cow, Sergeant Major Galore, let me get my net. I came here for the crabs, but I just, I just stumbled upon the most epic Sergeant Major school we have to try, right? 
Crushed, crushed. Holy cow, I thought this was gonna be a flipping rocks video. This has turned into an epic netting. Look at these dudes. Another one of the, two more of those translucent fish. Let's go. Holy cow. Listen, sometimes, I don't know why, during the winter-ish months, you know, like it is now, it's February, currently as we're filming, the crabs seem to be way deeper. And I haven't seen any pistol shrimp. In the summer, I go over here when it's really, really low tide, and I find mantis shrimps. Literally spearing mantis shrimp, tons of pistol shrimp. Really, it's an SM day. You gotta take what nature gives you. And we're out here, baby. I gotta take my swipes. We have a good variety of crabs, translucent fish, and sergeant majors. That's a nice looking bucket right there for our fish. Now, because I mentioned pistol shrimp and mantis shrimp, I have to test my theory. I at least have to try to flip some of the rocks that are more in the sand, like I said, where they like to bury under. So these are all the rocky rocks all stacked on top of each other. Over here, there's tons of them that are buried in the sand. So we have to at least try because catching a mantis would be pretty cool. The thing is, it's not dead low tide. So it's about halfway to dead low. And usually these are completely out of the water. So flipping them is really easy and to see is really easy, but I got to see through this water and catch them at the same time. Much, much harder. This is what I was talking about with the rocks. You flip them and there's just hundreds of these guys. I probably caught like 10% of what was on there. These guys are cool looking. Look at the patterns on those shells. Black and some are a little brown with stripes. Crazy. Like, how do you even get that? How do you even get that shell? I want that shell. That's cool. I've been in the gym and I've been doing these. One, two, three side to side, strengthening my ankles. Because if you're walking on these rocks, you're asking for a broken leg, to be honest with you. Don't try this at home, children. Where are you, Mr. Pistol? Example rock. Look at that. Tons of them on there. Literally, there's probably a, there's probably a billion little shells like that here, or little whatever they are, hermit crabs or snails. Sounds like a dead corpse over here. Something died over there. I think it's a pelican or something. Something died over here. It smells so bad. I don't know, I'm just getting nice strong whiffs of dead animals. It's really not good. I don't think we're gonna find anything over here. It's too hard to see. Look at that bajillion shells on that one. A couple more. This is a big one. This is a big rock. Oh, see, this is what this is the problem with uh, when the tide is too high. You can't see in the water when you flip the rock. There could easily be a pistol shrimp right there that I just can't see. Also, more eels everywhere here. And if they bite you, that's gonna hurt. It's too hard to see. It's too hard to see. This is a beast of a rock. Oh, this is a beast of a rock. Ah, that's a giant. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is this? What is this? Damn it. I thought this was a pistol shrimp. I have no idea. A bundle of freaking leaves? This looked exactly like a red pistol shrimp, dude. It's just a bundle of sticks. Damn it, I thought I hit the jackpot. Now guys, like I mentioned, it is February. So I would say, let me know if you guys think I should come back. I would say springish, May, kind of like April, May, come back on super low tide. Drop a like if you would like to see that video because I guarantee that everything that was around last year is gonna come, starting to come back in the springtime. So drop a like on this video if you think I should come hunt that mantis shrimp down, hunt those octopus down, hunt those pistol shrimp down. Drop a like on this video. I think it would have to come back on dead low tide. Like I'm talking when these are out of the water. That's the best time that you're gonna find those really cool, really cool shrimp. We are back with our bucket of fish and crabs that we caught from my favorite spot ever. We are back and look how good the tank looks. The tank looks amazing. All the fish are thriving here. We got the tang thriving, the angel thriving, all the fish absolutely thriving. They love to eat. They're doing great. I'm gonna get them super big. I'm gonna get them super big. We still need to add fish to this tank. It's not even close to being done. And uh, we may be redoing the rock structure very soon because I have a ton of leftover rock from the saltwater pond, you guys will see. And we could absolutely rescape this thing to look amazing. But right now I think it looks really, really good and the fish are doing great and the background absolutely makes everything pop. So for right now they're doing great. And Tiny Tim, on the other hand, is ready to eat. And we're gonna actually be feeding him one of those weird invisible fish that we caught. And see if he wants to eat one of those. Guys, look at Tim right now. He is on top of his little, you know, tank here. Just sitting on top, absolutely vibing. Look at him, right on top of the water there, right on top of the little net, or right on top of the uh, container there, just upside down vibing. That's the way he rolls. That's the way he rolls. I think he's ready to eat. Now, I think all the fish have been hiding in here. Yes, they have. I don't even know what this is. This is a piece of, uh, oh, the big crab scared the hell out of me. Holy cow, he was up in there. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try to find one of those invisible fish and try to feed him one of those. I think they might actually be even too small for Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim's getting putting on some size. Now here is one of those like really invisible looking fish. It looks like one of those freshwater invisible catfish type things. That thing is fully translucent. Look at the tail, completely translucent. Very cool actually, very interesting. And we're gonna try to feed one of these guys to Tiny Tim even though this might even be a little bit too small for him. He might want something a little bit bigger, but look at that thing. That thing is really, really wickedly cool to be honest. All right, Tim. Time to eat, buddy. Would you like some food? He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. He's swimming to it. He's swimming to it. You see the uh, translucent fish right in the front? He is not really swimming that well, so we may have to throw some more in there, but for now, Tiny Tim is just chilling. We need to throw some more fish. He might want a big sergeant major instead. All right, got something else for him in there. We got something else for him in there. Oh my God, he crushed it. <laughs> Yeah, he likes the bigger Sergeant Majors. He likes the bigger Sergeant Majors. Replay that, that was insane. As you can see, I think Tiny Tim likes the bigger meals versus the smaller meals. I'm gonna try to put some uh, of those smaller translucent ones in there because he just ate a nice sized little baby Sergeant Major that uh, I think he might be a little full, but as we know, when you think Tiny Tim's full, he's not even close to being full. So let's give him a couple more of those little smaller dudes, see if he wants to hunt. I actually have the crab and a fish on my hand right now, and uh, we're gonna put them both in. Does he want the crab? I don't know if he's gonna he's gonna want that crab. This cleaner wrasse really is just wants to be in the camera for some reason. That crab is moving up. Is Tim gonna eat that crab right now? Is Tim gonna eat that crab right now? I don't know if he wants that crab. I think he might be full, guys. I should have fed him the crab first. I think he might be a little full from that Sergeant Major. We are on to the grand finale now. We are gonna be throwing in that big old crab to see if this guy wants to eat him. He's already, uh, he knows the lid's open and you can see his things, you know, coming out a little bit. He's ready to go. But we do have some other fish in here that he can definitely eat, but they're gonna be so fast. Those little Sergeant Majors are gonna be so fast. It's probably gonna take him a while to eat. So we're shooting for the crab. Let me get this guy out. He's super spunky. He's probably gonna pinch me. That's our crab right there. Look at that guy. Look at that guy on my thumb. <laughs> He's going in the tank, baby. Look at him. He's ready to go, okay? And I think our anglerfish is hungry, but I'm still not really sure if crab is on their, on their diet, you know? But we're gonna find out right now if he wants to eat this guy. Look at this crab. Oh, Jesus. This is literally looks like a spider. There he is. You are gonna be our meal for Mr. Angler here, okay? We have to pick a name for him as well. I'm gonna go in the comments and pick a name down there because we need a, we need a name. I gotta go look through all the comments and, and pick one because he definitely needs one. Now I'm just gonna drop this guy in the water and just to see if he wants to swim up to him because I don't know if he's going to. He's not even looking at him, is he? I just don't want this crab to go in and then that's it, you know? Let's see if he wants to hand feed him. He's gonna scare the shit out of me, dude. He wants him, he wants him, he wants him for sure. If I put him on this, on this rock right here, do you think- No! No, no, I lost my crab. The crab is right there. Look at the crab right there on the corner there. And that is our anglerfish walking right towards him. Should I leave the crab? I'm, I'm worried that the crab's just gonna dart away. I mean, the angler's slowly hunting him. He's gotta be very stealthy if he's gonna get this crab because this crab is really sensitive. That anglerfish is stalking this crab right now. I don't think he's gonna be able to get him. And this crab is fast, guys. He sees him too. He sees him, he's slowly moving. He knows he's gotta be really stealthy for this crab. And I think the crab's focused on us right now, so he might have a chance. But he's gonna have to be wicked fast. And if he misses, we're gonna have to grab this crab out because this crab's fast. As you guys saw him crawling around all my arms and everything on my hand, he is a quick crab. I turned around for two seconds. I look back, crab is gone. The crab was right there and he is gone. I cannot find him. That is so annoying. But his thing is out and he, he's, uh, he's not gonna obviously deter a crab with that, I don't think. But this crab is out of here. He He's hiding in some rock right now. I'm pissed. Now we did put the crab in who he escaped, he eluded. We do have all these little Sergeant Majors that we did scoop up that we're gonna be putting in here all at once so he has a lot of options. These guys are really fast. I don't know if he's gonna get them, but let's release go. them all at once. So we release them all and he's going nuts. He's ready to go. He's gonna go nuts. So these Sergeant Majors are really fast, but this guy's even faster. And they do, they are really smart. These fish like to hide in the rocks. They don't get caught. You gotta be super fast when you're even catching them. But now this guy's gotta even outsmart the Sergeant Major. He's gotta outsmart him, he's gotta hunt him down because that crab is hiding somewhere in these rocks and he's not gonna be able to find him unless that crab comes out. So now it's time. We got about five or six Sergeant Majors in here. Let's see if he can catch one. Look at this thing out. This thing is out and ready to go. And he really wants a Sergeant Major. He's moving down the rocks. He's got his uh, <laughs> a tractor. 
a tractor beam going nuts. Look how cool this guy, and you guys can see, I got him when he was bright red, and now, like I mentioned when we first got him, he has turned to the color of the rock. So he's purple, blending in perfectly with the rocks. He's hidden everywhere he goes. So I think any anglerfish I do get is gonna slowly blend to the rock color. So this guy's officially turned from red to purple, which is just amazing. And he wants this guy right here. He wants that little damsel. Is he gonna be able to do it? Is he gonna be able to do it? Look at him, he wants. <laughs> this thing is crazy. I love the anglerfish. I love love the frogfish. They're the best. They are the best. Here he goes. Look at how slow he's, he's moving down there. He's just moving so slow and methodical like a true hidden predator right there. Come on, you gotta go for- Oh my god! Oh my god, that was sick. That was so sick. And now there's three right next to him. So I think we had six total in here, actually. That was crazy. Let's go, that was nuts. See, that's why I love living in Florida. You get to go out, you get to catch all these little dudes, and then you get to feed them to your frogfish. It's so sick. Let's see if he can get one more. I guarantee you he can eat all six of these guys in one sitting, easily. These Sergeant Majors are getting dangerously close. Dangerously close to my man over here. Oh, I think he missed. I think he just missed. Look at all the Sergeant Majors, the little damsels all around this guy. And he's being so patient, he's waiting for the perfect moment to strike. He already missed one. So he's one for two on catching these guys right now. So he's gotta be very careful. When you actually look at him, it's actually insane that he is doing, like the color that he is. Like he is perfectly blended to that rock. It looks like if you zoomed out, you wouldn't be able to see him. Like if you, if I said there's a fish in here, point him out, he's right there. That's just crazy. That's his, that's his tactics to catch and fish. What is he doing? He's like stretched out right now. <laughs> what is he doing? All right, finally, he's on the move again. Oh my God, it's right in front of you, bro. Finally, he moved spots. They weren't getting low enough for him and now he's getting himself in a little bit of a better position here. Now these Sergeant Majors, I told you guys, were gonna be wicked fast for him. Not kidding, I've been sitting here for probably 45 minutes watching and he will not attack until they're in the perfect position. And they haven't been in the perfect position. Only in the beginning was he able to get one then he missed one. So still got three in here and they're live. So I'm probably gonna sit here and wait for everything. Honestly, Tiny Tim, we could see him eat the best, which was crazy. He ate that fish in two seconds. This guy we at least got to see eat once, but I'm really annoyed about the crab that he goes so fast that he hid. I probably should have held on to him a little bit longer before I dropped him in. And these Sergeant Majors will slowly dwindle because he's gonna wait. He's very patient anglerfish. I respect that, very patient. So we still have fish in here. I'm gonna sit here and watch him just go, go to town, but I'm glad you guys saw him eat one of them. I think we gotta go back and catch like four or five crabs next time. They were a little thin this time, but like I said, drop a like if you wanna see that video in like a month or two when uh, the tide, when all those crabs start coming back in a flock and go on dead low tide, I think that's the best way to do it. We'll drop a bunch of crabs in here because he actually seemed really interested in that crab. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.